guys, welcome back to my channel. This is again Mafe of Makeup Ni Maria, also known as Makeup by Maria in Facebook and Instagram. We are now already on the final week of our Foundation Friday series called Funda Friday Upgrade, wherein I normally get a specific brand of foundation from my Pro Makeup Artist Kit and share with you the reasons why I love using them on my clients through a review, a demo, and a wear test. So if you were excited to know what's the last and final brand of foundation that I will be sharing with you, then please keep on watching. This is it. We are already on the final week of our Foundation Friday series called Funda Friday Upgrade, but I will definitely show you the best for last. So this foundation that I'm holding right here is the RCMA Vincent Kehoe Foundation Palette. Yes, this is not the typical foundation that you can buy on um, in the mall or order online because this is a specific foundation for makeup artists. So this is how it looks like. Um, let's from this actual palette right here ranges from 4,000 to 5,500 depending on the store that you will purchase it. This one I got it for 4,500 or 4,000 to be exact from DTC plus shipping fee. But you can also get it from Shopee for 5,000 pesos plus shopping. Oh, so plus shipping. It's like it's a palette as usual as a makeup artist. It is definitely helpful to buy a palette or foundation palette or whatever type of palette may it be blush, contour, or eyeshadow palette because it will allow you to carry a lot or a variety of shades in one single case. So at the back, it says here RCMA foundation palette designed for DTC makeup because I purchased it from DTC and it gives you the, um, the shades of the foundation inside from here as well as the ingredient and also the claims of this foundation so it says here rcma foundation concealer palette or foundation slash concealer palette is a staple for professional makeup artists across the world due to our high pigmentation and you can use rcma as a foundation or concealer so why buy two different products when you can buy one that does both jobs and apply RCMA lightly to the skin for a flawless finish perfect for HD or everyday wear. Yes, this is HD. High definition. I got this actually um, for my schooling or my makeup school and HD makeup school and academy. Or academy and studio and academy. And just in front, it only gives you the, um, the artist. Research Council of Makeup, RCMA Makeup, EST 1963. So when we open it, this is how it looks like. It has a mirror and it gives you 18 shades, variety of shades from the lightest to the darkest. been now two years that I'm a professional makeup artist. So after the 10th month of me being a makeup artist, I decided to use this as a concealer. But if I don't have the shade of the client, um, among those bottled foundation that I have, I definitely use this as a foundation and also as the base for my airbrush makeup label. But the only thing about this palette is you should know how to mix. So you normally need a spatula and where is my mixing palette? A mixing palette right here. So what you need to do as a makeup artist is to get a small amount of the shade that you think matches the client and then warm it up on this palette. I'll show it to you in a while. So for myself, I normally mix SHI or SH1 and KA3 and mix it on the palette. So it's like one is to three, one part KA3 and two parts SH1. So a little goes a long way. I'm only getting this much from KA3. And I'm going to get because two parts this much from SH1. This is how it looks like. That's the only amount you need for the entire face. So you just need to warm it up. That very small amount that I got from the palette gives you this much of foundation and this much on the spatula which we will both use later when we do the application 
so forgive me guys because I know after you see the finished product of the application this is not how my makeup looks like it's just that it took me a little while before I filmed the intro because there's a construction going on so I went crazy over my eye makeup and my lipstick so it may not look like the finished product that I will mention later on on the application but promise you I did not touch anything on my face except the eyes so this is actually how it looks like the makeup looks like now at 6 45 that i'm filming this i applied the foundation at 3 45 so it's been three hours and this is how it looks like without touch up mind you without touch up i only touch my eyes for the eye makeup for this introduction to the shades it comes with 23 shades in shko and ka but 45 shades in us so if you're purchasing it from us you have more and lots and lots of shades to choose from um shinto basically is yellow undertone for medium and deep skin ko is pink or red undertone um in between shades of the shinto and ka is a slightly yellow but for pale skin um clients so it is fragrance free made with vegetable oil and waxes and it claims to stay put all day long wearing highest pigmented to ratio that neutralizes and perfects skin almost instantly without um the need to use too much so it actually is a 55 percent pigment while the bottle foundations out there ranges from 15 to 35 percent pigment so it actually comes in two variants do um dewy and matte the one i'm using is for normal or for combination to oily skin and the dewy is for normal to dry skin so this one is just to give you a small history a brief history of this foundation so vincent kiho introduced this cult favorite foundation in 1962 to um, all makeup artists who works for film tv and stage so the ingredients includes isoprophyll Miss uh, Meristate, Renicus, I don't actually understand what is in the ingredients, but the fourth or the fifth one is actually um, wax. So this is technically wax based. So this is water resistant, but not waterproof enough. But I'm telling you, water resistant is good enough for you to have your foundation and makeup last all day long up to eight to ten hours so again this is how my face looks like after three hours of applying it under the hot ring light without the ac and without the fan because i don't want you to hear that on the background noise so let's proceed with the application so let's proceed with the application i already have here a mixture of my own shade from the palette I mixed the KA3 and um, SH1 or SHI. So I still have some on this um, scraper or this spatula. So as usual, I will be having the foundation applied on the right side of my face with a primer set with powder. And on the left side of my face without a primer and we will not set it with powder. So my favorite primer will always be to the rescue my nyx angel veil primer and we will just apply it on the areas where my pores are enlarged and visible and if there's excess then just apply it to the rest of your face and i really have my eyebrows done um care of the soap brows and brow soap i mean brow soap and fifth avenue brow powder and snz i forgot what's the exact name of the shop i'll just put it on the description box below all right hold on let me get my brush okay so we will be using this um beauty cosmetics brush it's basically for contour but i like it because it's dense and i like using on using it as my foundation brush so this is how my face looks like without the foundation i will insert a clip of before and after for you to know what's really the condition of my skin 
So let's use this what is left in the spatula because sayang naman. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. And then we will um, apply it with a brush. As you can see, dito palang full coverage na siya. It looks like it's a little bright or lighter on my skin, pero pag binland natin yan, magiging kasing kulay ko rin siya. Sorry sa ingay guys, kasi may construction sa taas namin. I mean the unit. Above our unit is doing a construction. So as you can see, medyo streaky siya kapag brush ang ginamit. Pero definitely um, full coverage. Diba? So gamit tayo ng sponge as usual. I like my foundation finished. With a sponge. Masyado lang maliwanag na yun. Kaya, mabaan natin yung ila para. So again, the sponge is only used to remove the streaks, not basic, not to remove the coverage. As you can see, medium high coverage sha before and after. And hindi mo naman sa kailangan na concealer kasi it will double up as a concealer and so before and after now we will proceed with the left side of my face without putting primer and ilalagay lang natin yung foundation directly so, minimix ko lang ulit to warm it up. And para gamitin din natin yung spatula to apply it on my face para fair. Kasi yun yung una natin ginawa sa kabila. So, one, two, three, four. Diba? Then, we will just use the sponge directly. Sinadya ko talaga na medyo a little bit lighter para makita nyo siya kasi napapansin ko sa mga videos ko. Um, dahil perfect match talaga siya sa akin, hindi nyo halos makita yung difference. Um, madami nagko-comment na you already have good skin even without the makeup. Well, thank you for those comments but the thing is, um, nasa reflection lang po siya ng aking ring light and then magaling lang po talaga ako magmix ng foundation. So, niliwanagan ko ng konti yung foundation shade. Medyo mas maputi siya than usual. Then gagamitin din natin siya as concealer. Kasi right now, because I have so much of foundation, bottled foundation, or um, uh, department store foundation, high-end and um, luxury. I rarely use this as a foundation except uh, during those times that I need um, a darker or super light shade that is not available or I don't have on my bottled foundations. So, both ko nang ginamit yung sponge kasi technically pareho lang naman sila. Um, sponge din yung ginamit ko sa kabila. Ano to, may hair? 
Pero ayan. Sponge without primer. Brush and sponge with primer. Basically, the only difference is, ayan no, meron akong pimple, try natin i-conceal. Is the coverage. Much full coverage si brush before sponge, then brush alone. Saliri ko na lang. This gives you actually enough time to work it before it dries. And as long as you don't set it yet, it will actually give you a buildable coverage. Pwede ka pang magdagdag ng magdagdag hanggat hindi mo pa siya siniset na powder. Ayan. It is a full coverage foundation. A little goes a long way. Sobrang konti lang nung in, um, na-scrape ko, in-scrape, na-scrape ko dun sa palette. Ayan. So, ngayon, isa-set naman natin yung other, um, yung half of my face using a powder. And the other half, I. Hindi natin siya isa set ng powder. This formula again is the combination to oily formula. Because um, I have combination skin, if you've been following me since day one. Oops, naburo ng konti yung eyebrows natin doon na sobrahan. Blend lang tayo mabuti. Ayusin ko lang yung eyebrows ko. Medyo nabura siya. So, I'll be back. And I'm back on fleek na ulit ang eyebrows ng inyong mom she. So, ngayon isiset na natin ng powder yung right side of my face. You seeing my favorite Mew Skin Pure Natural Perfect Perfecting Perfect Face Powder. So, setting lang tayo. I don't make that much. Kasi, ayokong nagkakaroon ng creases under my eyes. Half a face lang yung ating isiset. So, I'll just finish the rest of my makeup. Time now is, anong oras na? 3.49. So, sabihin na natin, um, 3.45. Nung natapos tayo maglagay ng foundation kasi nag-powder pa tayo at kinorek ko pa ang aking kilay. So, 3.45 tayo natapos and I'll do a um, check-in every 2 to 3 hours to give keep you updated. I'll just finish the rest of my makeup. Yeah! Alright, so I'm back. This is the final look. Simplihan lang natin. Medyo blown out yung eyes. Nung konti, hindi na ako masyadong nagmascara kasi waterproof, mahirap tanggalin. But this is how the final look looks like. And I'll insert a clip um, under natural lighting as well as with flash photography. So you would know the difference if there is a flashback or if there is not. But I guarantee you there's no flashback on this one. It will only depend on the powder that you will use to set it with. So, I'll see you guys later in a couple of, or in two or three hours for the check-in. See ya! Hey guys, this is how my face looks like under natural lighting. Left side of my face, right side of your screen. We did not apply primer and we did not set it with powder. Kaya medyo medyo shine na siya ng konti, pero it's not 
oily at all. Normal lang yan kapag hindi natin siya sinet ng powder. While on the right side of my face, left side of your screen, sinet natin siya ng powder and naglagay tayo ng NYX Angel Veil Primer underneath. So this is how it looks like. This is the final look. Um, I'll give you an update. I'll do a check-in after two or three hours later. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hey guys, it is now 10, 16. It's been six and a half hours from the time that we have applied the foundation. Um, right side of my uh, face, left side of your screen, we applied NYX Angel Veil Primer before we add the RCMA foundation and set it with Vue Skin Powder. While on the left side of my face, right side of your screen, we did not apply primer and we did not set with powder. So, so far, mukha lang siyang healthy. It's been six and a half hours, but you're not seeing any signs of budging or smudging. It's just that on my nose, talagang super oily niya. I have not found a foundation that doesn't budge on my nose kasi super oily niya talaga compared to the rest of my face. But again, six and a half hours, it's long enough um, for usual foundations to actually oil up. But right now, hindi pa siya nag oil It only makes my skin look healthy. As in, super healthy niya tignan. Pero around my nose, lapit ko kayo, eh, medyo talagang may oiliness na, na nagagana. But it's already six and a half hours. So I think it is definitely forgivable. But konting blotting lang siguro yan. Um, actually, konting blotting lang talaga. And then you don't need to powder up and it will already look like you freshly applied your foundation. So again, this is the update at 10.15. The next update will be the last one at the 8th hour, and I'll give you my final thoughts. Alright guys, see ya! Hey guys, this is now the final update. It is 11.52. It's officially more than 8 hours that I have this foundation um, on my face right now. We had it around 3.45 p.m. And again, we are reviewing, not really reviewing because I already know what this foundation can do. We are doing a demo and wear test of this foundation, um, RCMA foundation, right side of my face is with primer, set with powder, left side of my face without primer, and we did not set with powder. So come a little closer, see, um, around my nose, marami ng oiling na nagaganap. And medyo nawala na rin ng konti dito because I keep on sniffing kasi nga meron ako sinusitis. And most is the worst part of my face kasi sobrang oily niya talaga. Sobrang niya mag-oil up. Although 8 hours naman na yung nakakalipas. So forgivable siya. But the rest of my face wala talagang oil. As in hindi nagtatransfer. Naiyak-iyak pa ako ng konti kanina kay, kay Jade at kay Ace. Pero walang nangyaring... Um, smudging underneath my eyes. Smoky, smoky pa rin siya. Hindi siya yung nagkalat siya na mukha kong panda eyes. And that's it. It's just really my nose and of course, yung lips ko. Medyo nawala na siya. So, shiny lang siya on my T-zone pero wala talaga siya. Kung, may, kung oily siya, magkita mo pag pinunas mo ganyan, magkakaroon siya ng thumbprint or fingerprint pero wala. Wala oh. Hindi ka talaga siya oily. As in, mukha lang talaga siyang healthy except my nose. So, I highly recommend this foundation to um, beginners or all makeup artists, especially beginners. Yun nga lang, kailangan nyo lang maging matutong mag-mix ng foundation because if you're not used to it, then it's definitely a, uh, a difficult task for you to mix foundation in front of the client. It will actually prolong your, um, your work time when dealing with client. But this is highly recommended for... Um, combination to oily skin, you can use the dewy formula for normal to um, dry skin. This, I will rate it as 9 out of 10. I know it is the ninth favorite on my foundation, but the reason why I'm putting it as 9 out of 10 is because I can survive mawala na lahat yung foundation ko, yung bag ko ng foundation. Basta ito na sa akin, I will definitely survive. It can double up as a cream contour, cream highlight, concealer, and definitely as a foundation. So, ganun siya kagaling. Hindi mo na kailangan ng iba. When I was in makeup school, yun lang ang foundation ko. Walang ibang bottle foundation or anything else. Yun lang talaga ay nag-survive ako for the first 
four months na nag-service ako sa clients ng home service of make uh, makeup and hair sa clients. Naka-survive ako. So, that's it. Sana makatul um I hope this video helps you a lot deciding whether you want to test the RCMA foundation as a makeup artist or as someone who wants to level up their makeup game. So, thank you so much for watching. Maraming salamat sa pagsubaybay sa ating Funda Friday upgrade. And I hope to see you on my next video and on my next series. Goodbye for now, guys!